culture is often at the heart of the question, what does it mean to be a sovereign country? And since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the country's cultural sites have not been spared, with former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson calling the destruction of important sites cultural vandalism. Well, with me now is Ukraine's Minister of Culture and Information, Alexander Tukachenko. Thank you so much for joining us here on Euronews. Um, to what extent would you characterise the Russian invasion of your country as being about culture, as being a, a culture war, if you like? Uh, for my belief, uh, it's for sure gen genocide. It's not only about uh, Ukrainian people, I mean, uh, human lives and territory. It's also about our identity, which represent uh, culture heritage, uh, our language and history. As soon as Putin and his regime denies the identity of Ukrainians, they're trying to ruin everything which is connected uh, to culture heritage. More than 500 uh, cultural heritage sites were damaged or completely ruined during past seven months of war. So it's a fight against the identity. But of course, when Ukraine was faced with a full-scale invasion, um, perhaps cultural institutions didn't necessarily have time to prepare for a full-scale invasion. So what have they been doing to preserve things where possible, to get things out where possible, to protect these sites and, and these paintings and so on? Uh, in many cities of Ukraine, you can now uh, found uh, monuments which are surrounded by uh, uh, sand, uh, so by uh, uh, specifically uh, to protect monuments. If we're speaking about big buildings, we're now starting uh, work uh, how to prepare them for winter. Uh, for this purposes, we're speaking now with UNESCO uh, to organize immediate urgency uh, assistance, uh, first of all, towards cultural heritage sites which were damaged in eight uh, uh, regions which are now very close uh, to front line. And of course, as you've already just mentioned, culture often goes deeper than even just your famous paintings, for example. It is about identity, it is about your cultural practices, it is about language, the language that you can speak and what is taught in terms of history in schools and in what language. Talk to me about how you're also seeing that challenged, that threatened. That's obvious what Russians are doing first. They're coming uh, to switch off Ukrainian TV channels. And second, they're coming to libraries, uh, trying to take out a Ukrainian language book about history in Ukrainian language. Uh, there is a clear answer by Ukrainians. The number of people who decided to speak Ukrainian during the, this war increased uh, for 20, 30 percent. So people switched uh, off Russian language, instead switch on speaking native language Ukrainian, because it's respond for Russian aggression too, and the aggressiveness against languages, his, against Ukrainian language, history and culture.